Hey guys, Barry here, and welcome back to another micro video on Nintendo Impact Gaming or Micro Impact Gaming, whatever you're gonna call it. <laughs> micro Impact sounds like a. Never mind. Micro. <laughs> anyway, there's uh, Lapras. But, uh, okay, so basically, we're, we're your idea, but you had a problem. You both had a problem, but you had a bigger problem, I yeah. think. Our top three indie Nindy games yeah. on Switch so far. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is what we believe right now as of December, not December, November 25th, are the, are the, yeah, as we speak, are the top three in no particular order. Like we're not yeah, one, yeah, two, yeah. three, and we're just, just what our top three favorite Nindy games are yeah. on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. There may be some overlap. I'm hoping that maybe there's overlap. I can I can move up some of the games that I that was on my like other list. Um, so do you want me to start off? I don't mind. Okay, I'm gonna start with with a relatively easy one, and it is SteamWorld Dig Two from Image and Forum. Okay. That was one of my favorite games. Yeah, I thought so. Really, really enjoy their games. I enjoyed their their SteamWorld the original, and then Heist, and then Two. Fantastic game. I love the play style. It's a lot of fun. Easily approachable. Definitely like in my top. What do you got? Okay. By the way, sorry. As we're doing this, I know I'm I'm horrible at like guessing, right? How many games do you have on your Switch? I have over 130 so far. Over 130, and he scrolls through, and it's like looking, looking, still looking, <laughs> still looking, still looking, uh, and I and I force you to pick three. Yeah. So and so there's a so I really believe. You now here's the thing. I really believe that there is a person to talk about the best n indie games on the Nintendo Switch. There is no one, <laughs> no one more qualified than you, sir, because you are like the the Nindy Nintendo Impact guy. Like you, you know what's out there. You have, yeah, yeah. and you do amazing stuff on your on your channel. And I'm not just saying that because I'm sitting here nice to you, but I think if there's a person whose opinion's more, yeah, <laughs> I'll slip you a twenty. Uh, if there's a p person whose opinion probably matters more than mine. I would say it's yours. So this is a tough call for you, though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. You struggled. Yeah. Uh, the first one, I mean, bias. I I'll say that I have no problem saying that. I mean, bias uh, because I just love that game. For yeah. me, I said it before. Yes. That this game for me. Yes. So that's so much for an indie game. Okay. The quality was just fantastic. Okay. And that's sick to the man. For me, it did, the amazing quality for the. Yes. At the time, what was it? Seven or eight people on the game. Yeah, man. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Zoink Games. Uh, and I said this week as we speak. Yeah, yeah. I would actually. So here's the thing. I'm really glad you said that, because it was on my list also. Yeah. So it means I can make room for another game to bring on my list. But absolutely, yeah. The art style with with Stick of the Man is is so amazing. I love that cardboard aesthetic. I love the um, the story beats. Like it, you feel like you are playing through a flip book or a comic book. Yeah. Or and so it's just. Just the just the value of it, the art value, the the design is phenomenal. And I was saying, I did a let's play on my channel about it, or our channel about it. But more than anything else, I'm like, I cannot wait for Flipping Death, yeah. right? Because I'm loving what they're doing. So yeah, Zoink Games, stick it to the man. I 100% agree with you. Yeah. Hey, your call next. Dang. Uh, so my next call is actually going to be Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Oh. Lovers in a dangerous space time. Now you think like that's a bit of an odd choice, I'm sure. <laughs> but this game, my kids absolutely love and adore this game. And I think the kind of cartoony art style uh, is a bunch of fun. I think the spaceships flying around. I think you know telling you know telling your telling someone to be like, oh, go over there and shoot that and go over there and that kind of like spaceship micromanagement of it. But this very like children approachable kind of Disney cartoony, yeah. you know, ver visioning of it. My, uh, they just love playing it, yeah. a and, and so I would actually say, "Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time" is 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 one of my absolute. Especially if you have kids, especially if you're into family gaming, you have to do that one. I think that's just me. Did you have you played it? Oh yeah, I have it. Yeah. What do you think of it? It's it's uh, it's cute. It's adorable. Yeah. Exactly. For what it is. No, but see, I played it only myself. Yeah. See, and I think that's the challenge with it. If you played by yourself. That's probably no fun, but like if you're, yeah. play, if you're playing with a seven and nine year old girls, I wouldn't know, sorry. they're all over it. And if you are playing with seven and nine year old girls and you're as old as he is, <laughs> and they're not your own children, please have them call someone like help. So yeah, I don't know, uh, but that's mine. What's your second number? What's your second one? Again, just no order, no just order. Or, yep, go for it. What is it? Uh, well, there's Linkle. <laughs> sorry, it's not Linkle, Zelda. Anyway, yeah, remember okay. Zelda? Hello. We saw it before. Uh, it's not even waving at us, but anyway. No. Uh, cosplay costume. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Uh, I would say vaccine. Oh, okay. Talk to me about this one. I did not. Well, okay. Yes. It's basically 
it's like Resident Evil. It's original Resident Evil. It's like tank controlled. Yes. But it's a new experience every time because the house is uh, generated. Oh, different okay. location. You know, it's different. Whatever. Right, yeah. So I, yeah, you did let me play this one when we were over in Gamerfest a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very cool. So what about it? Do you like the most? It's, I just think it's just so different. I, I think at the time when it came out, there was nothing like it on Switch. Okay. I, I mean, like for, for a shooter game as well. Yes. Could be one of the first shooter games on Switch. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. Okay, very cool. And I guess first kind of zombie game on Switch as well, you know, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Not, a, not a huge audience right now for zombie shooters on the Switch, so it fills that gap. Yeah. And it was also kind of a little bit more mature, right? Like there was nothing oh, yeah, that yeah. was in that in that space. Yeah. yeah. There was no like obviously like no like cursing or like as in you know vowel language you know mm -hmm. in the game, but it was just so mature. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Okay, worth the pickup then, eh? All right, going back to me. Uh, I need to actually look at my Switch to think here. Uh, you know what? Oh, this is hard. It is, but it isn't. I'm actually gonna say Rive. Okay. Rive from Two Tribes, uh, that just again came out with the Switch recently. Yeah. Uh, I know it's everyone's, it's like, why are you naming games that came out recently? Because they caught my attention and I like playing them. But yeah, it's really, uh, it is that twin stick shooter, side scroll, like platformer, space adventure game with like, you know, it's that idea of like you die, you jump back in so quickly. Super Meat Boy is an example of this, or Meat Boy is an example of it. Um, it's problem solving in each area. The script is really well written. The sound design is fantastic. Uh, there's some great character development and a ton of fun. And they've got this two-player functionality as well. Leaderboards, uh, yeah, Rive by Two Tribes is 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 my, is mine. Okay. What about you? Third and final. Third and final. Let's see. He's literally scrolling through. I had a pick. I can't even remember what it was now. That one. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit biased, but I enjoyed it so much on Wii U. I'm going to say Octodad, Daddy's Catch. Really? On Switch. I just for the quality of that game. I mean, young horses have done an amazing job of you know making it like feel like an uh, like I guess sort of like ragdoll physics. You know, for an yeah, octopus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you got it? I haven't. No, but I think Octo Dads should probably be covered by the Nintendo. Dads. It feels like it's probably a mandatory yeah. must. So and not mega dads. No, not mega dads. No, 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 no. That's that's a garbage channel. You should not subscribe to them. I'm just kidding, John and Adam. We love you. Um, yeah, no. I, I we should probably check check it out though. Yeah. So what what else do you like about it? I just I guess the humor. You know, the same with Sick yeah. of the Man. The humor yeah. is brilliant in it. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward. It's a bit odd humor, isn't it? It's a little yeah. oddball, right? And, and so you've got a little bit of an oddball sense of humor yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think it fits. Yeah, but uh, yeah. like I played multiplayer with my friend Mark on the Wii U version. Shout out to Mark. Yes, whoever you are. Shout out to Mark. But uh, no, but I mean it was just it was bloody hilarious. Like yeah, yeah. Because each time I guess some parts of the game it would change, like limb. So you have, you control this limb instead of you controlling that limb oh, from before. Okay. You know, which is cool. That, that sort of yeah, like party yeah. mode. Yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. Very cool. I like that. I have to check that out then. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun with families, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. It's very family friendly. Good. Whoa. Jay's oh, now. Jay's now oh, drops it. That's yeah, mad. It's a bit mad. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Cool. So that's our that's our three. Yeah. So we've we've actually given you like six games yeah. that you should go pick up that are on the Nintendo Switch. Which are amazing. No. Yeah. Do it. No. Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in and checking this channel out. Um, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks very much for watching. All right. And uh, you can of course check them out on the Nintendo Dad's website, where you, you can check them on Patreon, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. and Facebook. And iTunes, is it? I, yeah, we're on everything. Yeah, we're pretty much. Everything. They're even on your mug and your oh. magnets. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't hear you say mug. I thought you said mum. I was like, whoa, that just got real south. You said mum, but not yet. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> we're out of here. <laughs> See you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> your mum.